What do you mean? I took my time. Yani, I conjured up the words to come and talk to you. And then you're giving me this attitude. Are you serious? Like, my name is Jarida and I, I am seated here with Nora Zawadi. Yeah, Nora is my daughter. So we are going to have this conversation about many things. But today we want to talk about, what do you want us to talk about? I want us to talk about friends. I think that's a very important to topic in teenage life right now. Friends, what friends you'd have around. Okay. Important. This is the kind of child I have. They know what they want. They say what they want, even before I say what I want to talk about. So yeah, Nora, um, what do you consider to be a friend? What do I consider to be a friend? Mm -hmm. Someone who's always going to be by your side. Someone who's supportive. Someone who listens to you. That's what I consider a friend. Nora, you're being very deep. Supportive. Someone by your side. Kwani, what do you want me to be like? So, what do you to like? Rafiki yako mzuri like ama what do you want me to say? Eh ivo ivo eh besteni besteni like you know someone supportive eh someone by your side eh like you trust this person like they'll always be with you like someone yani when you're in a problem you can just call up and say yo saidia kuna shida 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 tuko when him to you are a child what problems would you have that you'll need your friend to help you with First of all I am a teenager let's let's understand that i'm not a child what things okay you see right now i'm a candidate i need a friend who's going to support me a friend who's a good influence like a good peer someone who's going to encourage me to finish my homework encourage me to read encourage me to do the right thing encourage me to listen to the teachers like you need someone like that you don't want someone who's going to potesha you someone's going to make you do the wrong thing yeah it's you want to tell me that your friend can make you do the right or the wrong thing? Yeah, you know, like, teens influence each other. I just said so. Like, you be scrolling on Instagram and you see these kids doing this, that, and it's like, they look like, it's exciting. Also, you want to try this and that. I know the way teenagers are wired, they want to be popular. Most of them, it's all about popularity. Okay, Nora, talk about you. So you want to be popular? No, I want to be me. Me, I'm not. I'm original. You can't be me. Yeah. Okay, you are talking about popularity. Like these days, I just feel like all other teens care about is popularity, which is really bad. We can't be focusing on that. We need to be focusing on building ourselves, being true to ourselves. If popularity, what, 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 it won't help you be successful. Once you're successful, you'll be popular. Stop looking for it, and you know, there's nothing like, you know, where this is deep. I'm totally not was successful <laughs> so what have you seen that friends are or teens are doing to become popular that one um hmm. that's just a very deep question do you have like uh friends you think are doing things that you would rather they didn't do no not really once you're around nora you will just do the right thing because me i think i influence people bakubwa it's like when you're around me, you'll gain confidence. I have very many examples of friends who are around me, and then you know they gain confidence because they saw me. You know, they were, you know me. I'm very outgoing. When you're around me, 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 I'm the life of the party. I will encourage you. Wait, you tell me. You come to me and like, I have this goal and whatever, whatever. I want to do this and that. If it's posi if it's positive, I'll be like, you know what, friend? Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Let's plan out, plan this out, and I will push you until you make it. You're not stopping. You've already brought the idea to me. There is no stopping. If you're tired, take a nap. We mm -hmm. will continue. Oh wow. Um, what 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 things do friends? Um, what things do you think friends do, like in your age, that they should not be doing? Like you look at them, you say, "Those are friends," but I don't agree with what they are doing. I will not do that with my friends. Like backstabbing and talking negatively about your other friend negative energy oh my goodness yani i come yani <clears throat> i take my sweet sweet time nakuja you no know, like i sacrifice my time to come say hi to you come check up on you then all you can say is hi um like with an attitude hi yeah i'm, I'm okay what do you want from me huh huh what do you mean i took my time yani i conjured up the words to come and talk to you and then you're giving me this attitude are you serious like no you can't do that to me you make a i don't agree i don't consent so what's that that's the negative energy yeah i don't consent to that i'm sorry you will not have negative energy around me i will walk away and you will never see me again ever i don't care if you try talking to me how new 
you've talked about backstabbing i mean i i, I didn't think uh children your age would have anything like backstabbing how would teenagers backstab each other like talking badly about each other you know like for example like let's say you're in a tough place and you've told your friend about it and you're like dear friend okay underline tough anyone. place we're going to go back there Under <laughs> tough place and you're like dear friend don't tell anyone about this this is just between me and you because i trust you with my all and then kido kidogo unaskia everybody knows it's a room and everyone's like are you okay is it is it this bad and you're like what so now all the attention is being brought to you you don't know what to do you don't know what to say the situation the situation is going to get worse you just don't know it's just such a bad thing when people just when you tell them a secret they spread it that's why i don't tell people secrets let me tell you let me not tell you let me tell you <laughs> okay if you have a deep secret don't tell anyone even if it's your best friend trust me never mm -mm 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 -mm. the only person you can tell is god but at your friend it will your other friend will know one way or another trust me this you can't trust anyone there are some secrets maybe you can tell your friends but there are some others mm -mm. okay what are these these secrets like family stuff those ones they should never leave your household ever ah, okay that one i totally agree with you mm -hmm. you talked about being in a tough place i mean what is a tough place for a teenager what is a tough place for a teenager like when your grades are really bad like when you're like depressed or like you have like you feel like you have some sort of anxiety in you and you don't know how to control it and you tell your friend i need your help and then now all of a sudden you go to school the next morning oh my goodness i didn't know it was that bad how can i help you and everyone's trying to help you but you see the thing is it's going to make the th everything worse because you'll be centralized as this person who has problems mm. like ukuna, you have so many issues and now everyone is just going to be trying to help you and in the in the process of people helping you like it's just not it's not gonna work it's not right it's not right anxiety teenagers deal with anxiety lots of them what causes that um what causes that uh the way people talk about you the way people make you feel for example like let's say you don't have the trendy clothes i feel like everyone else mm. you don't have this cool stuff it'll make you feel lower than everybody else and that's and when people spread that about you negatively and then it's brought back to you they're told oh kumbe hauna ino na jifanyanga like it just it just feels so bad hmm? oh no okay yeah. so as friends do you also discuss about how you live like maybe what happens in your household like generally maybe tulikula hii babangu mama yangu do you discuss such things with friends yeah sometimes i'll be like eh hey, let me tell you my mom menifika hapa my mom menifika hapa aki Yo, yo, nyumba. <laughs> Ay. Yani, mom calls you. She tells you to do this and that. It's good. Anyway, so let's continue. Uh, the, the, the type of friends you have, um, you've talked about how you influence them, you know, and how you're a good friend and all that. What, what, what do you get from them? What, is the, what are these things that you get from your friends and you're just like, this is good like i like so and so because of abcd you know what qualities do you say this one is fine with this friend this one is not fine okay so let me use an example my desk mate she's you know what she's done to me she's shown me the importance of finishing what you started oh wow yes like these days if i've started a certain like like certain work like just for my own personal revision she's shown me you'll have to finish it because there's so much in that revision paper that you're going to need if you don't finish it there's so much you've not understood from it so much you've not seen that you need to see mm -hmm. she showed me not once you start something make sure you finished it and you've done it well and not do it in a hurry do it to do it well wow. and i just take so much from her because you know she's also really good in class you know so just i learned so much from her mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. other things you've learned from your friends other things i've learned from my from my friends actually many people think my confidence comes from my mother it doesn't if you see my friends mm, 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 they're so straightforward they want if they want something they're going to get it they're going to find a way how to get it and they're going to work for it and i get that from my friends and i'm just so grateful to have my friends honestly so your friends have shaped um how you behave and how you shop in the world yes also my mother has a lot because i see my mother most of the time so okay don't don't, don't put your mother in there i don't believe you but it's okay nora 
because half the time you're just saying the way my mother my mother my mother like mama kana kwanga mkifika to hapa but it's okay i can live with that that's what comes out from my mouth like when someone is trying to tell me at something bad ni 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 my mother will not approve of that that's the first thing i say my mother will not approve yes okay i'm going to come back to do that so um other teenagers will be watching this and they're just like um you know they're teenagers who actually don't have friends how do you make friends how do you make friends imagine just be yourself and don't try to be someone you're not people really look for the true you if you try to be someone else like um it won't help mm-hmm be yourself just show them who you actually are and if they're not interested in it go find other friends mm-hmm. not that one person does not have to be your friend there are over a billion people on this planet mm-hmm. you just be yourself be true to you yes so would you walk to people and tell them that hi um, i want to be your friend would no. you how do you make friends then stop okay okay okay, <laughs> okay let's see you see someone you want to be their friend you're like hi i've seen you here and there like what's your name yeah i'm i'm this and that and then okay wait hold on you know most adults think at tea the first thing we do when we meet someone new is ask them which school are you in where do you live what are your parents names what do your parents do for a living no we really don't care about that what do you care about like how are you how have you been like maybe which school do you go to is going to come later when you guys have got to know each other like when you guys are actually close which school are you in but then when you meet a meet someone new you just want to be your, their friend just ask them their name how have you been like just keep talking talking to them you know most teenagers just talk about trends and whatever and what's going on in social media pop culture those like that type of stuff no one really gets into deep detail at what's your mother's name <laughs> what does your mom do for a living oh that's so cool <laughs> Hey, are you a stalker? <laughs> so, <laughs> are you planning to rob the family? <laughs> so, never plan. Why do you want all this information? So, <laughs> if you come up to me and you want to be my friend, you're like, "What does your mom do for a living?" No. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> my mom lives abroad. <laughs> Which school do you go to? Um, I actually don't live in Kenya. Um, I live elsewhere. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's that's smart. That's a smart way of keeping. I think that's uh, personal information, so you should not be willing to just give it out to anybody unless you really, really know them. Have you ever friends? Have you ever met friends online that or people online that became your friends in your age bracket? Yes. Uh, uh-huh. Okay. So you, okay, I meet friends online through friends I have in real life. Mm-hmm. Please guys, don't be friends online with someone you don't actually know in real life. It might be an old man or an old lady. Just don't. It's it's very not safe. It's very it's very bad. Very dangerous. If you're going to be friends someone online, make sure like at least there's a way you know that person. Like I am sure this this person is who they actually say they are. So yeah, I've met friends online like who are actually my real friends like some I've never met in life, some I have met in real life. Yeah. I'm really grateful to have them because you realize that you're so similar. Mm. Mm. What do you think about followers and like when you go online, do you consider the people who follow you online as your friends? I mean, how do you relate to them people you you've not met? No. DM? No. The answer to your question is no. Do you DM people? No. No, do- only my friends, like people I trust. Just don't DM people randomly. If someone is sliding into your DMs, delete. If you don't know them, maybe just delete. Just, okay. just just don't don't randomly talk to people it's not safe. So what do you do online with the friends you have online? Oh, we play video games a lot. Is that safe enough? Playing video games. Yes. Yeah, because I mean you know them you're playing video games like it's fine. Okay. I'm 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 done. I've come well, I'm trying to understand the friends you have and all that. I think I can keep that with me right now. Okay, but I have a question for you. Yeah. Are you comfortable with the friends I have? Are you comfortable not knowing some of my friends? Like what's your view as a mother? Of your friends? Mm. First of all, do I even know Nora's friends? Okay, I know a few. I I know she has some great cheerleaders in her class. Like Nora has these friends who just cheer her on. Like she's swimming, she's the last one in my the pool uh, and her is like, Nora go Nora. Desk me. She has this amazing <gasps> 
my god. Just cheers her on so much. My desk. Mate. Like Nora is running for president and even she is not sure but her friend just like, "Yes, you're going to get this." So I know you have those kinds of friends. Um but I also know that I don't know some of your friends. And to be honest, sometimes I worry when you do some things that I don't approve that you have gotten that from your friends. And me just being a good mother, I, I, I just try to understand where is this coming from because I know if I went to you and asked you, Nora, is this coming from your friend? Your first line of action is defense. So I worry every time I see something you're doing that I don't like, I worry that you've picked that from your friend. Just so you know. I just feel like parents should... Um... Uh, we're talking about me. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just feel like you should be able to trust me to pick good friends. You've brought me up well. You shouldn't worry. You should be like, ah, I've brought her up well. You should trust yourself that I have brought up Nora to be a good girl. She knows how to pick friends. She knows when to drop a friend, when to keep a friend. You should trust yourself. Not even trust me, trust that you brought me up properly. But like when you see something in me that you don't like, just, you know what, approach me. We can talk about it one on one. And then I'll go to my friend. I know, nyangalie, investigate, investigate, see what I also don't like about them. And then yeah, maybe I could drop that friend. Maybe I could keep that friend. Yes. Okay. I get you. Thank you. <laughs> Can we finish here? Yes. Yeah? High so, five. high five. No, but you need to say that thing of uh, watch, subscribe, ask questions, comment. So, you're going to do that. Let me tell you all, subscribe. Just do it right now. Don't stop waiting. Subscribe. Thank you. Then like. Drop your questions over there. We'll answer them. Have an amazing day, night, rest of the week, rest of the month, rest of the year. Goodbye. Bye. We love you right back. Nema will be coming up next.